Today's the day we get ready for Dad's solar install. Stay tuned and see how we do it. Taking our motor home around the country Throughout North America we're on the road It's Palhana Travels, here we go Well, this looks to be a finished roof up here. We've added on the six solar panels. We've glued and screwed all the uh, brackets. By glue and screw, I mean we've glued them to the roof, or screwed them to the roof and die cord underneath and over top every screw and foot let on the on the roof. Covered the wires in wire loom. Anywhere the wires are exposed to the elements, we covered in wire loom. And also secured the wire loom with uh, uh, zip ties, screw hole zip ties. Come up here, you see the run going all the way up. Again, all wire loom, secured with zip ties, and then more die core over top of all those zip ties. So these front two panels right here are in are, are tied together, two panels tied together. These two panels are tied together to form one pair. And then the other panels over here are, for, are tied together to form one pair. So they are in, wired in a series. And then everything's paralleled in the combiner box right here. So this is where all the uh, panels or the wires from the solar panels come in and then meet up with that six gauge that goes down to the solar controller. So this is our combiner box that we used. These connectors are all watertight connectors and uh, a little bit of a struggle but we did get them all tight. Very tight so there'll be no water intrusion and of course we glued and screwed the combiner box to the top of the roof too. Oh, we got Dad in here working, tying up some loose ends, getting everything all secured and tight in place. Well, here's the old. This is the stuff we took out. We got the two flooded cell batteries in their battery compartments with vented lids and the, the, all the associated hosing, piping. Uh, a Xantrax uh, 1500 watt inverter. That's a nice little inverter. I think Dad will probably have to sell that here pretty soon. So if you're interested, let me know and uh, get you in contact with Dad for that little uh, Xantrax 1500 watt inverter. Be kind of cool. And then all this extra battery cabling and wire that was used to tie all the, uh, the, the old, old batteries together. So this is out with the old. This is in with the new. Everything's running pretty good. All right, we've got the uh, cutout made for the back wall, the pass-through. And we're just now securing the wall back into place. And uh, we'll get the cover on the circuit breaker box here in just a minute. But it's looking pretty good. Kind of like the way it looks here. I think that worked just great. It worked fine. Yeah. All right, there is our finished sub panel on the back wall of the pass through. Got the cover on there and the whole wall braced in place, much more solid than it was before. We're commenting on the fact that there is not a door cover actually for the circuit breakers. It's kind of strange. But uh, I think we can put a thin piece of sheet metal over that with some small, with some short screws and cover that up so we don't uh, accidentally hit a breaker. All right, well, we're finishing up uh, everything here in the front. I am 
I'm putting in some bracing for the batteries here. You can see I've cut these uh, little uh, two by twos just to fit along the base of the batteries and I'm gonna screw them in uh, to the wood floor. And then I've also got these little spacers that are gonna fit between the batteries and that'll, that'll give uh, proper spacing between the batteries um, and they won't be able to we won't be able to move. So between these and the braces running along the sides, these batteries will be pretty stationary. So that, that one just slides right in there. The batteries aren't going to go anywhere. Very stationary. So we're going to screw that down. And you can see down there, well you can't really see right now, but there's braces all the way down there. And there's a piece of wood that goes right down the middle of the east as well. So this will help keep the batteries from moving back and forth. Well, here's another look at our solar install here. This is the front bay of the fifth wheel that we've been working on. And I've had some, uh, you know, we've released two videos. And before we release the third video, I wanted to make a change. I've had a couple comments come through on uh, YouTube and Facebook. Um, suggesting I make a change with my DC negative battery cable. I'll show you what they're talking about. So right here, you see back here, we've got the shunt right here, and this negative battery cable running to the negative post, to this negative post. Well, the way this is set up over here with the positive, the positive line runs this way through the battery banks. And the negative line is only running from basically from this battery. So I need to make a change and wire this shunt up to this battery post. So the flow will pull through this from this battery through this battery to the shunt and into the system. That way you're pulling an even load of um, uh, amperage and, and well, you're, you're, just pull, you're pulling an even load through all the batteries and not just connected to this one pulling load from these and having these batteries equalize. It's not as good on the batteries to do that. If you can pull the load evenly through, it's a much better operation. So I'm gonna make that change now. But before I really work on the uh, system here, I need to turn things off. So I'm just gonna make sure that everything is off and not energized. Starting with the, starting with the uh, resettable breaker. That controls any energy coming from the solar controller to the batteries and it's already in the off position. The off switch right here for the solar from the roof is off. And I'm gonna turn this one off as well, turning the inverter off. And also there's no 12 volt power going to the rest of the coach. So basically the coach is dead now. Nothing going up, nothing going in, nothing going out so I can feel safe working on the batteries. When working around batteries with metal tools, you need to be very careful not to come in contact with two separate posts uh, on the batteries. It'll cause a pretty serious arc and spark. So just be extra aware of that. You know what? I have a battery cable that I made for down here that was just too short. I wonder if that pre-made or that battery cable that I already made will fit right here. Wouldn't that be great? I'm going to go check that out. Alright, here's my new length of a cable. I haven't crimped or finished this end yet. I just wanted to measure it see what length I do need to make sure this is the right length. That length will be just perfect. So now I'm just going to go, go crimp this end and put a uh, heat shrink on there too. Okay, we're getting the uh, negative ground wire hooked up here and uh, making the final couple connections. And then we'll be good to go. All right, I've made the new connections. You can see now right back here off the shunt, the negative wire runs right through here around that post up to the front post right here. And then our parallel leg runs right here, paralleling these two batteries together. 
creating a much better flow for the battery system. The batteries will draw much more evenly now and uh, well, they'll just be happier all together. Now I think we're going to hook it up and pull it outside. See what this solar stuff really does. Doing something. It's doing something. Well, it says both charging. 12.8. That's the battery bank. That's the amps into the bank. We got 35 volts from the sun right now. That's great. And that's kilowatts. So and, it, and it's a watts. cloudy day. It's a cloudy day, yeah. So 35 watts on a cloudy day. That's pretty cool. That's good. Well, guys, I've made it up to the roof of the fifth wheel here. And uh, I'm going to get into the combiner box and take a look at it and make sure all the panels are producing the right kind of voltage that we're looking for and just to double check make sure all the wiring is where it needs to be sorry for the road noise we've pulled the motorhome or uh we pulled the fifth wheel out of the shop and we're kind of right next to the highway right now so a little bit noisy so bear with us a bit there we go combiner box visible just want to see overall voltage Okay, so on this cloudy day, no sunshine, there's, it's reading 17.2 volts. I want to see and uh, make sure all the panels are reading equally, or as equal as they can. All right, well, I've verified everything here in the combiner box and everything is hooked up right. We're getting the correct voltage out of these panels, and uh, now things are looking pretty good. We're sending... Uh, Pretty constant 32 volts down to the uh, batteries from up here. That's looking good. Well, I think uh, this pretty much wraps up our solar install here on Dad's fifth wheel. It's looking pretty great. Theme, sing, things seem to be running pretty good. Um, you know, can't quite test the solar out as well as I'd like because, well, as you can see, it's a little cloudy out. Not the best day to be checking solar. Here's an outside view of the fifth wheel we've been working on. You can see the solar panels up there on the edge of the roof line. They only stick up a couple inches, so they're not too obtrusive at all. But you can definitely tell they're there. Three on this side and three on the other side. Well, I think that's a wrap for this solar install. Uh, everything is pretty much up and running. I was able to get uh, even some positive readings on this really cloudy day. So I believe the solar panels up there on top of that rig are working pretty good. And uh, he's gonna be a happy camper now with that new solar system he's got going on. Pretty nice little setup. Pretty happy for him. Thanks guys for watching. And as always, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, and always leave down leave comments down below and uh, we'll try to answer them back to you as soon as we can thanks a lot guys see you next time Bye, Hannah. as always if you like this video please give us a thumbs up down below leave us a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already we thank you for watching until next time pow, pow Hana. Hana.